Bees are fast disappearing, which is bad news as more than a third of the world's crop production relies on bee pollination. Urban beekeeping is one way to protect these hard-working insects. Our correspondent in South Korea, Eugene Jong, takes a look at how more buildings in Seoul are buzzing with urban apiaries. 40,000 honeybees have found a new home in the city, on a rooftop of a hotel in Seoul. The bee tenants will be paying their rent with honey which will be used in the hotel's bakery and restaurants. Urban beekeeping is becoming a very popular hobby in Seoul. There used to be five spots in Seoul in 2012. Now that number has jumped to 30 this year. Urban beekeeping is growing because South Korea's bee population has been disappearing and because keeping bees naturally improves the city's environment. Flowers blossom better, which attracts more insects and birds, gradually improving the ecosystem in the city. In 2010, up to 90 percent of South Korea's local bees were wiped out, which experts believe was caused by a disease, as well as the use of pesticides and modernized agricultural practices in the countryside. An Tae-hong has been raising and studying bees for four years in Seoul, and he says the city can be a safer alternative habitat for the pollinators in many ways, as long as there are plenty of diverse flowers within a two-kilometer radius. We don't see mass crop farming in cities, and people who do tend to be organic farmers, so there's far less use of pesticides. And the city is warmer, which means there's a higher chance for bees to survive the winter, to make honey again in the spring. Honeybees can also be a pretty good barometer for the health of our environment. So bee experts say, by saving them, we're also saving ourselves. Eugene Jung for CCTV Seoul.